Hi everyone. Well, I have this uh, vintage lamp. I don't know if it's resin or if it's actually carved wood, whatever it is. It's pretty old. Um, it was in my uh, my wife's stepmom's effects that we collected after she passed. And that was in, uh, geez, that was in 94, I think, or 95, somewhere along there. And it was old then, at that time. It was a souvenir she brought back from uh, somewhere they traveled, maybe Japan. She was Japanese. But I scanned it with the uh, range, and I scanned it with the scan ferrets. The two competing scanners. Uh, I wanted to see how they looked. Uh, and I thought I'd share it with you. The range has a, a minimum point cloud distance of 0.1 millimeter, 0 0.1 millimeter. Whereas the scan ferret at the uh, small setting is uh, 0 0.2 millimeter. So what I did was I, I refused the, well, because I'd already scanned it and fused it at 0 0.1, 0 0.1, the range scan. I refused it uh, at 0.2 millimeter spacing and to match the uh, scan ferret. The first one you saw was the range. This is the scan ferret that I imported from the folder it's saved to. It's just called uh, optimization. That's that's the fused file of the scan. And you notice the bead chain came out pretty good on the scan ferret, uh, whereas it, it, it really didn't show up much on the range. It had a gap in the middle of it. Um, and the range got inside there between the socket and the, that, uh, whatever that is, that pillar there, uh, the shaft of the socket. So I decided to go ahead and, uh, merge the two and show you the alignment, how well it worked. There you have both models. The scan ferrets on the left and the range is on the right. I can tell by the, uh. <laughs> by the bead chain and by the way I did spray the bead chain and the socket uh, but the photo the the little video I uh, showed you at the beginning uh, I did that after the fact so the scan spray had already dried a little bit and all that uh, but I can assure you they the the bead chain and the socket were both nice and white so they'd scan well there's the finished aligned model And it's still just the fused model. So I, I processed it with all the settings and the normal uh, workflow, uh, the isolation, the overlapping, the smoothing and the simplification. I did all those to that aligned model. Remember it's, it's point, 0 0.2 millimeter point cloud spacing and by the way this clip is 200 percent speed so that it so I can upload it comfortably I, I don't have very good internet here so it takes quite a bit of time to upload it, just a small file Now I'm meshing, I'm meshing it, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I did smoothing there. We'll go on to meshing here in a sec. The me uh, filling holes because uh, Revel Scan 5 does a pretty good job of filling holes at that 30% ratio. You see that was pretty good. I see the bead chain came out pretty good. Had the detail in the palm fronds or whatever they are. And I see that the, the range could see further into the uh, carving. Uh, looked to me like, you know, in the very beginning, uh, 
when I showed the range scan, it looked like it could see further into the carving than the scan ferret could. Whereas the scan ferret caught the bead chain a lot better than the range did. So each one has its advantages and things it can do that the other can't, apparently. Um, it seems though the limiting factor on the scan ferret is the 0.2 millimeter dot uh, point spacing. Uh, this is after I brought it into mesh mixer and used the tools in there to do a little bit of smoothing and to uh, to do the analysis, let it uh, have it make it watertight, so I could print it. I'm gonna I'm gonna print it. <laughs> For a friend that collects little miniatures, uh, this will make a nice little addition to her collection. That's a friend that works at the sub shop, <laughs> and sometimes I get a discount when I go in there. Sometimes she gives me her employee discount because I bring her all these little miniatures, and now I'm bringing her uh, lasing et laser etchings too, which she likes a lot. But I, I suppose I could have done it better, but it was just an exercise to see if I could uh, use the scans from the two scanners and um, put it into the Superior uh, Rebel Point 5 software. It works pretty well. I don't mean to degrade either scanner. They're both uh, decent products. Um, scan ferrets half the price of the range, but it depends on your application. Mine is just hobby, so I don't have to make a living on it. Anyway, there you have my comparison of the range and the scan ferret. And I'll see you on the next scan. Have fun, everyone. I certainly am. Bye now.